Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Jack Adkins, Director of Transportation Development, and we'll be kicking off this recording for District 5. During this presentation, we'll share our district's Consultant Acquisition Plan, or CAP, presentation for upcoming consultant support contracts that will be advertised for fiscal year 2023. Today, you'll hear from our staff in the department areas listed regarding the professional services advertisements that we have planned for planning and environmental management, office of safety, design, right of way, traffic operations, structures maintenance, district maintenance, and construction engineering and inspection, or CEI. In this upcoming year, fiscal year 23, which starts in July of this year and runs until June 2023. The consultant industry serves vital for delivery of projects within our region, expanding our district's talent and serving as partners, executing initiatives and vision for several district focus areas, vital few, safety, fostering talent, inspiring innovation, and enhancing mobility. We look forward to your contributions on projects and working with firms new and familiar in the future. The information you'll hear in this recording is subject to change, but the information is valuable as it provides you, our consultant community, insight on the projects and contracts we have planned. You'll want to continue monitoring and reviewing planned and formal advertisements for updated information. As a reminder, you can contact the department project managers listed on contracts projects identified in this CAP presentation for additional insight and information on the upcoming advertisement prior to the formal advertisement date. Once a procurement is formally advertised, all communication must go through our procurement group through the contract specialist identified on the advertisement. In summary, we have close to 50 advertisements planned to date in fiscal year 2023, totaling over $123 million. Planning and Environmental has one contract for $5 million. Office of Safety has three contracts, totaling $8 million. Design has 21 contracts, totaling $55 million. Structures Maintenance has two contracts, totaling $3 million. District Maintenance has one contract totaling $4 million. Traffic Operations has one contract for $5 million. And CEI has 16 contracts totaling $43 million. Out of these planned projects, we'll issue 15 district-wide specialty miscellaneous continuing services contract totaling over $52 million for planning, office of safety, design, traffic operations, structures maintenance, and district maintenance. Some individually advertised and others will be multiple selection from one advertisement. District 5 continues to support the Business Development Initiative, or BDI program, by reserving professional services contracts for small businesses. We have eight advertisements totaling $10 million both in design and CEI contracts. This year, we are piloting some projects with a $3 million cap rather than the current $1.5 million cap, and some projects with a capability of 15% of contract value going to non-small businesses participation. These pilot projects are a result of feedback received during the statewide small business listening sessions held last year. Last on the agenda, Lihia Benoit will share information on Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or DBE, programs, which will be beneficial for consultants pursuing any of our advertisements. Now, staff will provide information on upcoming acquisition projects for District 5. We'll begin with planning and environmental management. The Planning and Environmental Management Office is pleased to announce FPID 450105-1 is for a continuing services contract for RCI data collection and support over a period of five years with a $5 million cap. This contract will assist Channing Mayolo, the project manager, with RCI and HPMS data collection to the standards outlined 
and the general interest roadway data procedure. The formal advertisement is anticipated in April 2022 with contract execution in July 2022. The District 5 Office of Safety plans two advertisements with three contracts totaling $8 million in fiscal year 23. FPID 237995-1-32-21 and FPID 237995-1-32-22 will be advertised together. Diana Turner will be the contract manager. The estimated contract amount for each is $1,500,000 and the estimated contract execution is May 2023. The estimated contract length is 60 months. These contracts will be to provide miscellaneous safety studies and design services district-wide. FPID 450214-1, Stephanie Moss will be the project manager. The estimated contract amount is $5 million. The estimated contract execution is September 2022, and the estimated length of contract is 60 months. This is a district-wide task work order-based contract to help the D5 Office of Safety provide support needed in professional and technical services to help us reach target zero. It will assist in the areas of project plan reviews, stakeholder coordination, community education and outreach, safety technical studies, and bicycle and pedestrian planning and analysis. Welcome and thank you for viewing the Fiscal Year 23 Consultant Acquisition Plan presentation for District 5. My name is Jeff Cicerello, the District 5 Design Engineer. In this section, we will cover all design-related consultant projects to be advertised and awarded in Fiscal Year 2023 within the Design Department. The bulk of design advertisements in Fiscal Year 2023 will come from Consultant Project Management. The plan includes the advertisement of 19 individual projects, which will include 13 resurfacing projects, two safety projects, two widening projects, and two intersection projects at a programmed estimated amount of approximately $32.5 million. Consultant project management will also advertise four continuing services roadway design contracts totaling $16.5 million. Additional contracts planned in 2023 include a district-wide landscape architecture design and review continuing services contract for $1.05 million and a TSMNO study and design continuing services contract for $5 million. Together, these projects total approximately $55.05 million. Please note that not all projects will be advertised individually. Some may be packaged in bundles. For a more in-depth review of each of these projects, we will now proceed to the individual design project description portion of the presentation. Thank you. FPID 448783-1, Kevin Powell is the project manager. This project is US 192 resurfacing from Bamboo Lane to Main Street in Osceola County. The estimated contract execution is September 2022. The estimated amount is $1,816,000 with a project length of approximately 24 months. FPID 448798-1, Ty Garner is the project manager. This project will resurface State Road 430 from Clyde Morris Boulevard to east of the FEC Railroad in Volusia County. The estimated contract execution is September 2022. The estimated contract amount is $1,545,000 with an estimated contract length of 18 to 24 months. FPID 449214-1, Kevin Powell is the project manager. This project will construct a signalized R-cut intersection on State Road 423 from Kingswood Drive to Addison Street in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is October 2022. The estimated contract amount is $1,127,000 and the estimated length of contract is 18 months. FPID 447610-1, Anthony Miller is the project manager. This is a resurfacing project on US 441 from Wadsworth Road to the Lake County Line in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is October 2022. The estimated contract amount is $744,000 with an estimated contract length of 24 months. FPID 448794-1, Jean Francois is the project manager. This project would resurface 
US-1 from Minnie Lane to the Volusia County line in Brevard County. The estimated contract execution is November 2022. The estimated contract amount is $1,700,000 and the estimated contract length is 24 months. This is a BDI contract. FPID 430132-1, Daniel Simpson is the project manager. The purpose of this project is to add lanes and reconstruct the segment of US 301 from County Road 470 to State Road 44 in Sumter County. The estimated contract execution is November 2022. The estimated contract amount is $6,100,000 with an estimated contract length of 24 months. FPID 449235-1, Marcus Lasicki is the project manager. This is an intersection safety improvement project on US 1792 at Enterprise Road in Volusia County. The estimated contract execution is November 2022. The estimated contract amount is $765,000 with an estimated contract length of 24 months. FPID 445696-1 and 445696-2, Daniel Simpson is the project manager. This is a pedestrian safety project, including a new R-cut intersection on State Road 438 from Homestead Road to Princeton Street in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is December 2022. The estimated combined contract amount is $1,441,000 with an estimated contract length of 24 months. FPID 448735-1, Ju Jean Francois is the project manager. This is a resurfacing project on US 441 from Mill Street to College Drive in Lake County. The estimated contract execution is January 2023. The estimated contract amount is $1,127,000 with an estimated length of contract of 24 months. FPID 448977-1 and 448977-2, Gene Verano is the project manager. This is an interstate resurfacing project on northbound and southbound I-95 from State Road 514 to north of State Road 519 in Brevard County. The estimated contract execution is January 2023. The estimated combined contract amount is $7,346,000 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. FPID 445218-1, this is a resurfacing project on US 441 or State Road 25 from Avenue I to the Alachua County line in Marion County. The estimated contract amount is $917,000. This will be a goes with contract with FPID 448635-1, which is a resurfacing project on US 441 or State Road 25 from north of County Road 25A to Avenue I, also in Marion County. The estimated contract amount is $1,032,000. Megan Owens is the project manager for both projects. The estimated contract execution is February 2023 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. FPID 445298-1, Elio Joseph is the project manager. This is a resurfacing project on State Road 50 from west of State Road 520 to east of St. Anne Avenue in Orange County. The estimated contract execution is February 2023. The estimated contract amount is $500,000 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. This is a BDI contract. FPID 448376-1, Megan Owens is the project manager. This is an interstate resurfacing project on I-75 from State Road 200 to north of US 441 in Marion County. The estimated contract execution is March 2023. The estimated contract amount is $1,314,000 and the estimated contract length is 24 months. FPID 448796-1, Kevin Powell is the project manager. This is a project on US 192, US 441 that includes resurfacing from County Road 532 to Arthur Gallagher Boulevard in Osceola County. The estimated contract execution is May 2023. The estimated contract amount is $1,082,000 with an estimated length of contract of 24 months. FPID 448764-1, Elio Joseph is the project manager. This is a resurfacing project on State Road 530, US 192 from US 27 to the Orange County line in Lake County. The estimated contract execution is May 2023. The estimated contract amount is $935,000 and the estimated length of contract is 24 months. This is a BDI contract. FPID 428947-1, Marcus Lasicki is the project manager. 
The purpose of this project is to add lanes and reconstruct this segment of State Road 40 from Breakaway Trail to Williamson Boulevard in Volusia County. The estimated contract execution is May 2023. The estimated contract amount is $3 million. The estimated length of contract is 24 months. Consultant Project Management also plans for continuing services contracts in fiscal year 23. Jennifer Link will be the project manager. Contracts 40, 41, and 42 will be advertised together with an estimated contract execution of January 2023. The estimated amount for each contract is $5 million, and the estimated contract length is 60 months. Continuing Services Contract 43 will be a BDI contract with an estimated contract execution of February 2023 and an estimated contract amount of $1,500,000. The estimated contract length is also 60 months. FBID 439045-2, Heidi Trivet is the project manager. This is a district-wide task work order-based contract to provide design services for local and state TSM&O projects. The estimated contract amount is $5 million. The estimated contract execution is July 2022, and the estimated length of contract is 60 months. FPID 415409-1-32-07, Geneva Maynard is the project manager. This is a district-wide landscape architecture design and review contract. The estimated contract amount is $1,050,000. The estimated contract execution is September 2022, and the estimated contract length is 60 months. We will now turn it over to environmental design and permitting. Environmental design and permitting will offer one contract in fiscal year 23. FPID 243844-1-72-12 is a district-wide continuing services contract to provide National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NPDES, services. Farrell Hickson is the project manager. The estimated contract execution is November 2022. The estimated contract amount is $5 million, and the estimated contract length is 60 months. We will now turn it over to right-of-way. Right-of-way will advertise one contract in fiscal year 23. FTID 443838-1 is on State Road 434 from Oleander to west of US 1792 in Seminole County. Carol Dahlhoff is the project manager. The estimated contract amount is $300,000. The estimated contract execution is early 2023 and the estimated contract length is 60 months. This project will provide acquisition and relocation services involving 13 parcels, including 10 commercial parcels and three vacant parcels. Structures Maintenance has two district-wide design contracts to be executed in fiscal year 23. These five-year, $1.5 million district-wides will provide technical support services for repair and rehabilitation of bridges and ancillary structures within District 5. The first contract is scheduled to advertise in April 22 and execute August of 2022. The second contract will advertise in October of 22 and execute January 2023. We will now review the upcoming maintenance contracts. FPID 435504-17207. Geneva Maynard is the project manager. This contract is a district-wide maintenance support service contract. The estimated contract amount is currently programmed at $4 million, with a contract ceiling of $5 million. The estimated contract execution is July of 2022, with an estimated length of contract at 60 months. This contract will provide maintenance support services to the department to include, but not limited to, field inspection, permit inspection, contract administration and management, and CEI con contract support. Hello, my name is John Hatfield. I'm the District 5 District Construction Engineer. This portion of the webinar will cover the district's consultant CI work program for fiscal year 2023. We will be advertising 15 contracts for about $40 million in CEI fees. These CEI contracts will include both resident compliance specialist services and geotechnical services for dynamic pile testing as necessary within the contract scope of services. Four of the contracts will be business development initiative set-asides and will be restricted to only small businesses. Two groups, groups 232 and 234, will be selected from letters of response and interviews. 
All other CI groups will be selected from expanded letters of response only. I will now turn it over to Kevin Hayden with the district CEI team to provide a more detailed description for each of the groups. Thank you. CEI Group 222, Brevard Operations. Robert Marcu is the project manager. This contract includes six projects in Brevard County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1.3 million. The estimated contract execution date is October 2022 with an estimated length of 15 months. This contract is a BDI contract and will allow up to 15% of the value to include non-BDI subconsultant firms. The projects in this group are 445-813-1, new traffic signals at the intersection of State Road 518, O'Galley Boulevard, and Wickham Road, 445-835-1, replace mass alarm signal poles at the intersection of State Road 518, O'Galley Boulevard, and Croton Road, 442-885-1, resurfacing of State Road 520 from Aurora Boulevard to Hubert Humphrey Causeway, 449-425-1, the silt culvert and gunite repair at I-95 over Carter Canal and Rockledge Creek, 445-867-1. Install 12 pedestrian crossings on A1A from Crescent Beach Drive to Minuteman Causeway and 447-135-1. Bridge deck rehab and pile jacket repair at US-1 over Elbow Creek and US-192 over St. John's River. CEI Group 223, Deland Operations. Ernie Saltar is the project manager. This contract includes four projects in Volusia County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1 million. The estimated contract execution date is December 2022 with an estimated length of 17 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 437133-1, Drainage improvements on US 1792 North Woodland Boulevard from Mandarin Avenue to East Kentucky Avenue in Deland. 439-864-1, construction of St. John's River to Sea Loop Trail along Myrtle Avenue from 10th Street to State Road 44. 445-208-1, resurfacing of US 92 from Educators Road to Tomoka Farms Road and 449-359-1, Replace hydraulic cylinders and submarine cable at State Road 44 North Causeway Bridge. CEI Group 224 Deland Operations. Rick Co is the project manager. This contract includes five projects in Volusia County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2.4 million. The estimated contract execution date is January 2023 with an estimated length of 31 months. This contract is an exception to the BDI limit of $1.5 million and is a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 437942-1, widening of US-92 from the Halifax River Bridge to State Road A1A, 442874-1, resurfacing of State Road A1A from State Road 40 to Roberta Road, 442884-1, Resurfacing of State Road A1A from Broadway Street to Millsop Road, 446-544-1. Traffic signal upgrades at the intersection of State Road A1A and Williams Avenue and 447-105-1. Resurfacing of State Road 40 from State Road 5 to State Road A1A. CEI Group 225, Deland Operations. Ernie Saltar is the project manager. This contract includes three projects in Volusia County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $0.7 million. The estimated contract execution date is August 2022 with an estimated length of 13 months. This contract is a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 439-865-2, construction of St. John's River to Sea Loop Trail along Palmetto Avenue from Ridge Boulevard to Beville Road, 445-300-1, resurfacing of State Road 44 from North Hill Avenue to the I-4 eastbound ramp, and 446-558-1, median opening modifications at the intersection of State Road 472 and Minnesota Avenue. CEI Group 226, Leesburg Operations. Karen Madrid is the project manager. This contract includes three projects in Sumter County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1 million. 
The estimated contract execution date is September 2022 with an estimated length of 11 months. This contract is a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 443-166-1, resurfacing of State Road 50 from State Road 471 to the Lake County Line, 445-190-1, resurfacing of US 301 from County Road 521 to State Road 44, and 445-304-1, resurfacing of US 27 and US 441 from Morris Boulevard to Southeast 178th Place. DEI Group 227, the land operations. Glenn Rainey is the project manager. This contract includes three projects in Volusia and Flagler counties for an estimated CEI contract amount of $4 million. The estimated contract execution date is June 2023 with an estimated length of 35 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 410-251-3, widening of US-17 from De Leon Springs Boulevard to Lake Winona Road, 445-716-1, Median access improvements on US 17 from State Route 15A to Ponce de Leon Boulevard and 447082-1, resurfacing of State Route 11 from the Volusia County line to US 1. CEI Group 228, Leesburg Operations. Eric Jaggers is the project manager. This contract includes two projects in Sumter County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $5.8 million. The estimated contract execution date is July 2022 with an estimated length of 35 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 435-471-2, construction of the South Sumter Trail along State Road 471 from State Road 50 to County Road 478 and 435-859-4, widening of State Road 50 from County Road 478A to the Lake County line. CEI Group 229, Ocala Operations. Denise Larkin is the project manager. This contract includes one project in Marion County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2.2 million. The estimated contract execution date is February 2023 with an estimated length of 22 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The project in this group is 38562-1, reconstruction of the I-75 northbound rest area in Marion County. CEI Group 230, Ocala Operations. Denise Larkin is the project manager. This contract includes six projects in Marion County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1.7 million. The estimated contract execution date is October 2022, with an estimated length of 21 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 426-179-1, construct pedestrian bridges and boardwalks within the Silver Springs State Park, 437-596-2, replacement of sidewalk on State Road 40 from the Northwest 27th Avenue to Southwest 7th Avenue, 445-217-1, resurfacing of State Road 326 from Northwest 12th Avenue to State Road 40, 445-701-1, intersection improvements on Southeast Abshear Boulevard from Southeast Hames Road to Southeast Agnew Road, 447-603-1, replacement of traffic signals on Northwest 10th and Northwest 14th Street from State Road 492 to Northeast 25th Avenue, and 448-924-1, bridge deck repair of State Road 492 over the SCL Railroad. CEI Group 231, Ocala Operations. Denise Larkin is the project manager. This contract includes three projects in Marion County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $3.1 million. The estimated contract execution date is January 2023 with an estimated length of 22 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 439-234-1, Resurfacing of State Road 200 from I-75 to US 301, 41141-1. Resurfacing of State Road 464 from US 301 to State Road 35, and 445-688-1. Replacement of traffic signals at the intersection of US 441 and County Road 42. 
CEI Group 232 Orlando Operations. Trevor Williams is the project manager. This contract includes two projects in Orange County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1.4 million. The estimated contract execution date is April 2023 with an estimated length of 19 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 441145-1, resurfacing of State Road 527 Orange Avenue from Grant Street to Gore Street, and 448915-1, widening of the Interstate 4 ramps at State Road 528. CEI Group 233, Brevard Operations. Wilkes Kemp is a project manager. This contract includes five projects in Brevard and Osceola counties for an estimated CEI contract amount of $2.7 million. The estimated contract execution date is May 2023 with an estimated length of 18 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 433-655-1, addition of turn lanes at the intersection of US 192 and Hollywood Boulevard, 445-214-1, resurfacing of State Road A1A from State Road 404 to 36th Street, 447085-1, resurfacing of State Road 501 from State Road 520 to State Road 528, 447099-1, resurfacing of US 192 in Osceola County from Hibiscus Road to the Brevard County Line, and 447688-1, Installation of traffic signals at the intersection of State Road 5 and Sitco Road. CEI Group 234, Orlando Operations. Wade McLemore is the project manager. This contract includes two projects in Orange County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $5.2 million. The estimated contract execution date is May 2023 with an estimated length of 31 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 448914-1, Interstate 4 Interchange Improvements at State Road 535, and 449771-1, addition of managed lanes on Interstate 4 from State Road 536 to Daryl Carter Parkway. CEI Group 235, the land operations. White Group is the project manager. This contract includes one project in Volusia County for an estimated CEI contract amount of $3.3 million. The estimated contract execution date is October 2022 with an estimated length of 32 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The project in this group is 436292-1, construction of a new interchange on Interstate 95 at Pioneer Trail. CEI Group 236 Oviedo Operations. Rick Valier is the project manager. This contract includes four projects in Seminole and Orange Counties for an estimated CEI contract amount of $1.7 million. The estimated contract execution date is August 2022 with an estimated length of 22 months. This contract is not a BDI contract. The projects in this group are 242-592-6, Traffic Operation Improvements for Interstate 4 at the intersection of County Road 46A and Reinhardt Road, 242-592-8, Interstate 4 Interchange Improvements at US 1792, 445-303-1, Resurfacing of State Road 436 from Old Cheney Highway to University Park Drive, and 445-316-1, Resurfacing of State Road 46 from US 1792 to Mellonville Avenue. Area-wide 14 district construction. Denise Nazario is the contract manager. This continuing services contract covers all district five counties and the contract amount is limited to $5 million. The estimated contract execution date is July 2022 and has a contract limit of five years. This contract is not a BDI contract. Tasks for this contract will be assigned by task work orders. The contract financial project number is 237984-2-62-25. The Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or DBE, program is a program to help ensure equal opportunity in contract award and administration. A DBE is a minority-owned business.
The purpose of the DBE program is to help level the playing field so that minority owned businesses can successfully compete in the marketplace. It does this by ensuring the integrity of certifying DBE firms through the DBE certification process and by removing barriers that would otherwise limit a DBE's chances of participating in DOT contracts. FDOT established a three-year goal of 10.65% DBE participation in October of 2017. This is a goal that FDOT believes can be achieved through the normal competitive procurement process and with the current availability of DBEs. The goal itself is not a requirement, but participation in the program is. DBE participation best practices will help achieve the goal. Always consider DBE firms during bidding. All bidders, DBE, non-DBE, successful and unsuccessful, must submit a bidder opportunity list. This is submitted at the time of bid into the EOC or Equal Opportunity Compliance System. Included in this list are all the companies solicited or that reached out seeking work on the project, whether they are DBE, non-DBE, successful or unsuccessful. The DBE directory can be utilized to find certified DBEs. Good faith efforts to reach the DBE goal must be documented and include the name of the business, date solicited, date of response, and the outcome. DBEs have to be paid monthly and their payments need to be recorded in EOC along with their commitments. Remember, the DBE availability can be passed down to any subconsultant at any tier. This concludes our CAP presentation. As a reminder, the presentation in PDF format will be posted to our procurement marketing site and the recording of today's presentation will be posted to YouTube as well. On behalf of District 5 Secretary Jared Perdue, we thank you for viewing this presentation.